now our parks and green spaces have been more important than ever during lockdown for both our physical and mental well-being but while getting back to nature might have benefited us humans it could be coming at a cost to some wildlife now broadcaster and patron of richmond park claire balding is helping to raise awareness about one particular concern as wendy hurrell has been finding out I'm looking for skylarks in Richmond Park. This is one of their very few breeding areas. They're very difficult to spot, these little birds. They're sort of the same colour as the ground, very frenetic in flight, seeing as they ascend into the sky. I'll keep trying. It's a bit easier to hear them. The elusive skylark is endangered, which is why an educational film is being made by the Friends of Richmond Park, presented by Claire Balding, who lives locally. Lots of people don't realise that they nest on the ground and that these anthills here are, are perfect to give them a little bit of protection. I mean, even just in the short time that I've been a patron of the Friends of Richmond Park, I've learnt so much about trees, about the wildlife, about the different grasslands. This is acid grassland. I love knowing things like that. <laughs> yes, acid grassland. And it's around this area that signs have gone up. Dogs quest all over the landscape, so we're very um, keen to give them some extra help in limited areas of the park. And from today, for the next, um, until the end of July, we are asking dog owners to keep their dogs on leads in this area of the park and also to stick to paths. Richmond Park is a nature reserve. It's busier than ever in this pandemic. Many new visitors unfamiliar with its precious wildlife. When you talk to people in the park and they see various signs, they don't quite get it. But once you give them the full story, it's like reading a good book or seeing a good film. Once you get the full story, you go, ah, right, I understand this now. Whether you spot one or not, the Skylark's song in flight is worth protecting. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London.